Let don't me take to play I hit the game You need my brother, no be the same What's that a fire, no be the same Me and you know they delay Me and you know they for the same category Me and you know they for the same category my take is, if you put on us or put us on the category, you should respect us. I mean, why are you putting us and we are using? You are, you are making us feel, seem as though we are small shops, as a small shops for for the events. I mean, we're, we're, our music is beautiful. If you didn't recognize, there's no way you would have called us. So I mean, we want more. We want way better. I mean, why can't we be part of the show? Why can't we? That's my opinion. Why can't we be part of the whole show? There's the head is huge awards. There's 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 MTV. There's 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 a whole lot of awards. You know we have to you know focus on our thing, and you know, you know most times that you nominate these artists in African awards, they don't come. You, they not do nominate. They have African international artists categories, so they don't come through. And we come, we go to theirs, and they give us backstage five hours before the show. I think it's really really embarrassing, and I think I think we deserve more. I don't think they're any better than us. We just do different genres of music and they have a bigger, more, like, you know, a bigger platform and they have a more structured industry. But way to start way before us and we're still coming up. I think basically we'll get there. We just have to calm down and, you know, chill and keep making good music for the world and for ourselves. So we'll get there. To a large extent, a lot of us don't appreciate the fact that we are Africans and we make our music. So I think that's why it's a little bit biased. But if everybody's going to come back together and put ourselves together and make sure African music as popular as every other person. We're not going to have such encounters anymore. That's what's up, man. Let's, let's put more energy and more focus into our own awards so that they do recognize us. That's what it is. Yeah, from the look of things, I would say yes. I would say yes because um, but it's just that our government needs to help us a little bit by creating a structure that, you know, these things, we can actually reap what we sow. Not we sow and people are other people are reaping. So we should concentrate on our thing. It's our thing. Before it was there. So it will still be here. So whether we like it or yes, you go America, go London, go there's still Africa. It's Africa is Africa, baby. You can't take it away from us. It is dark skin. You know what I mean? So that's how it is. Um the truth is, um, to be recognized internationally is it's a great thing. It's it's even an honor, you know, but it has to be done the right way. You understand? So um, some of our, our awards here are even bigger than, and we're even treated better than what we celebrate ourselves, more than we are celebrated. About. So why call us for an award and then you give us before the show when we are actually supposed to be showcased, you know? Yeah. Of course not. Of course not. As I say, as I've been saying it year in, year out, you know, we need to make these things better because we need, even our own awards, the um, awards that we do down here, we need to make them of international standard just so that, you know, we can start to broadcast it to the world as well. Do you understand? Let's, let's not keep it local. Let's keep it international. And then let's, I mean, there's a lot to be done and we're working really hard and hopefully we'll get there very soon. Very soon. We should focus on our own awards. Yeah, the AMA awards, the... Afrima Awards that is coming up now, so that's what we should be thinking about. Not going and thinking about Grammys and we, we don't. Come on, man, we don't big pass all these things. Oh, but without Nigerians, without Africans, Americans will be nowhere today. Whether in business, in entertainment, in anything, we stand out and we keep repping Africa for life. Uh, yeah, we should focus more on it, but also also look at going further as well. No matter what happens, so uh, such is life. So if they start appreciating our kind of sound properly, then they will actually bring us forward. Just like an upcoming artist, so we just keep you, sometimes they just keep you backstage where you don't get to go on stage. So <laughs> basically, we're just going to grow and surpass them. That's all. We just have to keep working. All I have to do, or all I have to say to Africans, is that we just have to develop our alphabet, come together and unite, and we can make it very big to become a world sound and people from everywhere, Europe, America, buy into it because they are rich and buy into it though so it's just a matter of time we will definitely i would advise african artists to focus more to give in their energy and into uh, awards like the mama awards you know all these awards Af africa that african has to offer but the international awards is also very important you know international recognition very very important as well it can be overemphasized so what i'm saying generally right now is that we still got a long way to go. 
we still have a lot of work to do as Africans right now, as African musicians, and uh, we'll surely get there. Though it might take a while, but we'll surely get there, right? It is what it is, yeah? I think that we should not limit ourselves, you know. Focusing on the African Awards is very special. Very, very special. You can see that even in the African Awards, we have um, categories where uh, the, the Western acts come in and do their thing. But at the end of the day, we should try not to uh, just focus on the African Awards. We, we are trying to be basic in the sense that we want to be able to cut across every nook and corner of the world. So our music right now, I, I, I tell you the truth, Nigerian music, Nigerian music is hitting even the American scenes. American producers, I've been somewhere where the American producers want to know how we produce our songs and how we do our thing. You know, so I think we should not limit ourselves to just our awards. Let's do our awards in a fantastic way, take it and go home, but work still to, you know, still, I'm saying still because it's hard work. And sometimes for you to get something, you have to do it the hard way. You have to work harder to um, achieve these things from from the Western world. You know, let's not limit ourselves to just being African acts and um, being uh, only, you know, being involved with African awards. You know, let's just do what we can to grab what we can out there too. I'm not going to say forget about it. We just probably just change. Perhaps, I don't know how we change the orientation about our style and our music and everything. But yeah, I'm going to say let's even build ours more first, and then maybe they will learn to respect us more. Emi Alade expressed herself how she felt about the BT Awards, and then that is because of the fact that we're lacking that oneness, that togetherness. You know what I mean? We have pioneers. We have people who started this game. We have them to speak for us. They are our fathers and our elders. If we want to express ourselves and we know we're young, we're not legends yet, we should go to pioneers, we should go to people who started this game to say, Sir, this is the pain I am feeling. As a family, speak for Nigerians. Speak for Nigerian artists. Speak for the Nigerian music industry, African music industry. And your voice will be heard. Instead of us just talking on Twitter and Instagram and then, it's going to be like an individual thing. It's, it's better for you to be a collective, you know what I'm saying, expression. I want to talk on behalf of young artists. You may be worried, wondering that maybe if you speak against media, maybe they will use it against you. But remember that your talent speaks volume for you. Nobody can take your talent away from you. Nobody can disturb your creativity because it will be the one that any media will take as what to showcase to the world. I'm talking about not showcasing African musicians during the real telecast they should stop and showcase Africans when everybody is being showcased. If not, Africans don't go there. Next year, let the category be void and let's see if they won't ask. Grammy Awards, black people fought for more categories to be showcased during the telecast. I'm a living example of that fight because I was there. And when they honored Dr. Dre as the first hip hop producer of the year, every black community was happy. Africa will be happy when you showcase African musicians during the telecast. Be it if you are listening, that message is for you. One love.